What is going on everybody? So we're back again and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically set a server texture pack. So if you've ever joined a Minecraft server and you've had it prompt you to download and install a texture pack and run it, uh, that's what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be setting up the server texture pack. So I'm going to start off really basic here. What is a texture pack? Well a texture pack is a resource pack. A resource pack and texture pack, those terms are interchangeable now. Years ago, uh, resource packs used to honestly only contain textures, so you used to be able to change what blocks looked like, so we called them texture packs, but now we can change music files, we can change lots of different things about the game, so we call them resource packs because we're changing more than just the texture resources, we're changing f music files and just different things, and there's a lot of, lot of different things that you can do with a resource pack. So this is what a standard resource pack looks like right here, it should be zipped up in a .zip folder. Now, there are a couple requirements for putting a texture pack on a server. The first one is it needs to be a single zip folder, like this, it's a single file, zip file. And it needs to be less than 50 megabytes. The way you can check that is by right clicking on it, clicking properties, and you can see how big it is. Ours is currently 5.96 megabytes, which is much less than the required 50 megabytes. So we're good. Um, and then well, the third and most important requirement about all of this is that this needs to be set up on a server somewhere with a direct download link. Now, I'm going to be using Dropbox for this, and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do this. There are many ways to get that accomplished, but the easiest and most straightforward is probably just Dropbox. I mean, I'm and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video. So, the first thing that we're going to want to do is take our texture pack and you're gonna to want to download it off a website and you're gonna to want to make sure that it's in the right format so make open up the zip file and make sure that inside uh, you don't have another zip file or you don't have another folder uh, you want to make sure inside of here you have your pack.mc meta uh, if you have a pack picture a PNG and your assets folder now inside of here is where all of the stuff's gonna be that you want so just make sure that it's set up like this and it should be good to go so we're not really going to change anything inside of this. We're going to put this up on Dropbox right now. So the important thing is you guys are going to have to basically create a Dropbox account. Uh, you can get free storage just by making an account. So I'm going to use mine. And you're going to want to click this button once you get all signed in. You're going to want to create a new file. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Not create a new file. You're going to want to upload a file over here on the right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and select uh, the texture pack zip file off our desktop, which is 1.15.2-r1.zip. Uh, We're going to click that. We're going to open it. And it's going to upload it down here. And when it's done, it should only take a couple seconds because it's only 5 megs. And you can see it's done right here. And when it's, it's done, you're going to want to click on this share button right here. And you're going to want to create a link down here. And once it creates the link, you're going to want to click copy link. And it's going to copy this link directly uh, directly to your clipboard, which is what we want. So now we can minimize this. Now this file is on the internet and we can use it to uh, put on our server and we can download it remotely. So we don't need Dropbox anymore. So we're just going to minimize that window. And we're going to go to our 1.15.2 server. This is the one that I updated in the last video. So we're gonna come into our server.properties here we're gonna right click and if you guys uh, don't see an open option like I don't have right here you're gonna want to click open with make sure you click notepad and then it should open perfectly fine some people are having issues with this but it's really not that hard just do what I just did and you should be perfectly fine so we're gonna want to come down to where we see resource pack not SHA-1 it's just called resource pack might take me a second to find it all right so you're gonna want to scroll down until you see resource pack right here now what's important is that we paste in the link that we copied from Dropbox into here now you need to make sure it starts with the HTTPS and it has the entire full link and you're going to want to come to the end where it says DL equals zero and you're going to want to change that to a one. And then we're going to want to go file, save. 
and then we can X out of that and now we can start our server back up and once it starts up uh, that's pretty much all there is to it the texture pack has been applied so what's gonna happen is when someone tries to join your server uh, in their client obviously they have to have server textures enabled if they do when they join your server uh, it'll prompt them and say hey do you want to download this texture pack and apply it and if they click the yes button it's gonna go out to that URL that we just put in the server properties it's gonna download that texture pack to their computer from your Dropbox and then it's gonna apply it for them so let's just go see if that works okay so now that our texture pack is installed on the server and the server is started up and it's fully initialized what we gotta do is hop back onto our minecraft client here and we want to make sure that this setting you have to have the server i'm pretty sure you have to have it set up like this you have to have it put into your server list and then there's a setting in here that says server resource packs prompt enabled disabled it's defaulted to prompt i'm gonna leave it on prompt so you have to make sure that that setting is not disabled otherwise it won't even ask you and here we go we're gonna try and join the server there we go this server recommends the use of custom resource pack would you like to download and install it automatically yes Let's see if it works it should take a second and bam there we go we got faithful I know it doesn't look that much different but this is this is different textures <laughs> but yeah that's uh that's that's how you set up a texture pack on a server guys it's really not that hard it is a little bit more complicated than just changing a setting because you do have to go link the file uh, on a web server somewhere to your server but once you get it done and set up it should work pretty pretty good for you um, you can do this with any like I said any texture pack that's under 50 megs it shouldn't shouldn't really matter as long as it's all in a zip file and it's set up correctly so uh, that's gonna be it for this video guys um, if anything I've done in this video helped you guys at all be sure to uh, drop a like and subscribe for future videos uh, comment down below if you have any questions and I'm looking for future ideas uh, for content that you guys might want to see from me so if you want to see any let's plays or me hop on any servers or do anything definitely let me know down in the comments and if you guys also have any other ideas for tutorials that you guys want me to see, uh, definitely drop that down in the comments as well. So uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.